Terraform setup is actually different. For Windows, it is different. For MacBook, it is different. So I'm going to tell you about Terraform on both. Uh, but on Visual Studio Code, I'm going to tell you uh, like on the Mac, and you can follow the same steps for the Windows as well. So what you have to do is on Go you have to first go to Google.com. Okay, uh, Google.com, and when you go on a Google.com over here, you have to type visual studio code okay you'll find it over here press enter when you press enter there you will see a direct link of download you don't need to go in the main home link you can just click direct on direct link of download when you click on this direct link of download you will get an option to download so you have like multiple options over here because i am using currently mac so i'll i'll click on this if uh, any one of you is using windows um, i know some of you are using windows okay so when you click on this, uh, it start downloading in your laptop like this. You can see it has already started downloading. And once this is downloaded, you can uh, you, you can basically start the installation and you can follow the steps to download. So in my laptop, I already have Visual Studio installed. You can see the symbol. This symbol is for Visual Studio Code. So we are going to use this Visual Studio Code and this, this is how it looks like. Let me close everything and let me start fresh. Okay, so I'm going to start again Visual Studio Code. And when I start, it will come up like this. It will come and start like fresh over here. Okay. What we have to do is when it starts fresh, we have to create a new folder or you can create a new file or new folder. I would recommend to create a new folder. Okay. So for that, what you have to do is you have to basically uh, open folder, click on open folder. When you click on open folder, you can go to any location and click on new folder. So you can click on new folder and give it a name Terraform code. Okay. You have to give it a name, but I will create the folder over here and you can see the folder is created. And now I will open it. I'll click on open. Okay. Now over here, you can see my folder has been opened up. You can see my folder has been opened up and now I can just click on this button. You see this button. I can click on this button to create files inside this folder either i can click on this uh, like double click on this i can click on new file or i can just click on this option of new file and if i click on this and i can give it a name let's say i can give it a name main.tf whatever whatever file you want to create okay and you can create the file oh i just give a wrong name it's okay you can give any name but it should end with dot tf dot tf stands for dot terraform Okay, so that shows that it's a it's a Terraform file. You can create n number of files over here. You can create n number of files. You can say var.tf, or tf, whatever. You know, I'm going to talk about all these files later on. So we have to set up. We have to set up Visual Studio Code. We have to know how to create a folder. We have to know how to create these files. Let me repeat again how I did everything so that you guys are clear. I'm going to create uh, close everything. Let me close the folder. Okay. Over here, it, this has opened fresh for me and it is going to open like you for every one of you, you will see Visual Studio Code like this. Over here, what you have to do is you have to click on open folder button. So you can click on over here or you can go to file and you can click on um, open, open. You can click on open. It's up to you what you want to click, but it should be open folder. When you click on open folder, if you have the folder already, you can open it. So I have the folder already. I can click on it and click on open or I can create a new folder. Let's say I want to create a new folder Terraform 2. Like I can give any name which I can remember and I'll create a new folder. See, I've created a new folder over here and I click on open. So what will happen? It will open up an empty folder in front of me. Now I can create multiple files inside this folder. How can I create it? I can easily click on this file and I can say main.tf whatever file name you want to give, you can just give the file name and it will open up a file over here. Okay. And you can again, click on, right click on it and click on new file, or you can click on this option and it will give you an option to create a file. So you can create another file. So you can say I created two files inside my new folder that is Terraform 2. So this is how we are going to use the Visual Studio code in future. I'm going to tell you more about Visual Studio code as we progress with our sessions, but this is the basic setup you have to do. You have to make sure that Visual Studio Code is installed in your laptop. 
Second, you guys have to make sure that uh, you know how to create a folder and how to create the files and how to close everything. So you can just click on file and click on close window or close editor, whatever you want to. And I can click on close folder and it will close the folder for me and I'll be coming out of it. Okay. This, these are the steps which you have to follow for yourself. The steps will remain same in windows. There will be no change in windows. Everything will remain same. You will see a file option over there. You will see an open folder. Everything is going to remain same in windows as well. After that, once this is done, once uh, the, you know, Visual Studio code is installed successfully and you know how to create the uh, files and folder, then let me tell you how to create your AWS account. So the people who are new uh, and they want their own free account, they don't want the inside sandbox account. That's okay. I tell you how you can create your AWS account. Okay. So remember that in your browser, you have to type aws.amazon.com. Okay. You have to type aws.amazon.com slash console. Okay. This is the URL which you have to type in your, uh, in your browser, whether you're using Google Chrome or you're using Safari, you're using Internet Explorer, Internet Edge, whichever browser you're using, you have to type aws.amazon.com slash console and click on enter. Okay. Now over here, now when you, when you are here on the AWS account, you can click on the sign into the console. Now to the sign into the console, you need the account, but you don't have it, right? So you can click on the sign in uh, using root user email. When you click on it, you will find it here. Create a new AWS account. It's, it's a hidden option. I, I believe I really feel that it's a hidden option, but let me show you how I reach to that option. First of all, you will search aws.amazon.com slash console. Okay. When you reach over there, press enter. When you press enter, you have to click on sign into the console. This is the first step. After that, you have to click on the create. And if you see this directly, create a new, you can click on it. If you see something else, you have to reach over here, create a new AWS account. When you click on create a new AWS account, you will see such a screen over here. It will ask you for your user uh, email address. So whichever email address you have, you can put it over here and you can give some account name, whatever account name you want to give, you can give it here and you can click on verify email address. Post this, it will ask you your address. It will ask you for your credit card because uh, it needs the credit card. So, and it will create your account. Uh, it will create a free account. Okay. So this is uh, what I wanted to discuss uh, in the Visual Studio Code and AWS account. Thank you for watching. Switch from non-IT to IT today. Explore www.thinkcloudly.com.